Our osprey chicks are now about 11 weeks old, and it appears that not long after the chicks fledged on July 30th, our female osprey left a migration. We haven't seen her bringing in fish or feeding the chicks, so it appears she is headed south for the winter. I guess once she saw the chicks were flying, she realized the bulk of her work was done. The male osprey has been dutifully bringing in meals for the two chicks, but the chicks are aggressive in fighting over the fish and quickly snatch the food from his talons, as you can see in these two clips. Not surprisingly, he doesn't linger on the nest and instead flies off to his favorite nearby snag, leaving the platform to the kids. The chicks are old enough to feed themselves, and when they do snatch a fish from the male osprey, you often see the chick that gets it mantling over the food. Mantling is when a raptor spreads its wings out to protect its meal from other birds. Although the male isn't staying on the nest, he is doing a good job providing, and we've seen clips where he's delivered multiple fish, so sometimes each chick has a meal. We haven't seen a clear example of a chick bringing in their own fish, but that doesn't mean the chicks aren't fishing. It's possible when they leave the cam, they're out in the river trying to catch a fish, but not achieving success. For those who've never seen an osprey fishing, we took some photos of an adult out on the river catching a meal. The osprey hovers over the water looking for fish and can be anywhere from 30 to 120 feet up in the air. When a fish is spotted, the osprey starts diving toward the water. At the last minute, it pushes its talons out in front and hits the water talons first. If the osprey's aim was successful, the talons lock onto the fish, and then the osprey uses its wings to pull itself and the fish out of the water. Once the osprey is in the air, it often orients the fish head first, because that's the most aerodynamic way to fly with its catch. Now that the chicks are venturing farther out into the refuge, the family sometimes leaves the nest unattended. When that happens, other birds sometimes pay a visit. We saw what looked like a juvenile great blue heron landing on the nest one morning, but the osprey family spotted it and weren't happy about the non-osprey resident. You can hear them calling out in protest, and they eventually chase the youngster away. In addition to exploring the refuge and practicing their fishing, the chicks might also leave the nest at night to roost in a nearby snag. In the evening, the male osprey often sleeps on his favorite snag near the nest, and we've caught the chicks doing this as well. So if you don't see the chicks on the nest at night, they're likely roosting in a nearby location. We'll continue to watch for any footage of a chick bringing its own fish into the nest. In the meantime, enjoy our osprey family while they're still active on the cam. At this time next month, they might all be flying south on migration, and we'll be sad to see them go.